But men don't follow through with women come to men and like, oh, I have this problem. Oh, I have this problem. I have this problem. And they're like, yeah, yeah, we'll fix it. We'll fix it. <laughs> Did they ever? <laughs> no, <laughs> not in a million they're years. They're with the short term. The risk of be living a lifestyle but cheating husband is, man, that's, that's. It, it takes a toll on you. I can imagine like, that, even as a cheating boyfriend. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just not healthy. Hey, brother. when you live with a woman, especially now in the smartphone era, in the social media era, like I couldn't, I, I don't think I could manage that. And you got a personal and, brand now too, so it's even and, trickier for you. Yeah, and that, it's not worth it. Like so, all those things contribute to it. But the, I think the biggest factor is I don't want to fuck up my marriage. Like I'm, I'm actually happy with the person that I'm with. First of all, we live in a world of illusion. And disillusion. And, yeah, and disillusion. <laughs> so because we have so much illusion that's going on, and anybody can make the illusion, create their own illusion yeah. of themselves. I can make you think I'm the most nicest person in the world, but when you meet me, I'm a stone cold asshole. You know what it is? Everybody is creating an avatar. It's bait, and everybody's fishing for something. And it looked good, and then you bite the hook and they reel you in and now next thing you know you're on a you're on an unwanted boat in a fish market. Relationship and the 60% divorce rate makes sense, which actually would be 85 to 90% if you count all the people who don't want to be in that relationship anymore but stay. And you count the people who are scared to leave because they think they don't find any better. <laughs> We're starting on a positive note in this video, huh? Don't hurt the messenger. I will explain you everything now. To understand why most relationships don't work out, we have to look at one important factor. What happened to the love? Most people are not in love with you and they don't actually care as much about you as they say. They are in love with the way you make them feel. So they are loyal to their own feelings, not you. People who are very emotional and are acting on their emotions, and you know who I'm talking about, will also rationalize their worldview based on their emotions. That means their truths and their opinions change constantly based on their emotional state. That's why when they have good emotions and you make them feel good, you are the best thing for them. Everything you do is so great. And as soon as you don't make them feel the same way anymore, you're a narcissist. You're a gaslighter. You were manipulating them all the time! And now they found out about it and are telling all their friends. There might be even some people who watch this video and because they hate taking the certain word, was it, what is it? Accountability. It makes them feel not good, so they don't like me. So they try to make their feelings feel better by attacking me. But how can you attack this beautiful face? Back to business. How do you know actually someone is loyal to you? Well, they don't base their actions of love for you on their emotional state. A healthy person has a set of values that they act on to grow the relationship, whereas most relationships are based on if their partner makes their feelings feel better and they do the things to make their feelings feel better, then they love you. Which, this behavior of trying to select a partner based on trying to make feelings feel better is known in mental health circles as a compulsion. These compulsions will lead to addictions. I miss them? Oh, relief. We fighting? Oh, relief. We're making up. Withdrawal? Drug. Withdrawal? Drug. Is there a light bulb going off? And then you get addicted in the relationship, which causes you to be attached to that person. I'm giving you a spoiler alert. There will be no happy end. The reason for that is you most likely even chose your partner from a trauma pattern, which means you chose your partner to make trauma feelings feel better. I used to be attracted to people based on trauma patterns and then I changed my brain and now I'm only attracted to people who value me and I value them. I'm officially too old for the bullshit so the next woman that shows me any kind of interest at all I'm gonna cut through it and walk right up to them and just flat out ask them. Darling do you have any intention at all of getting to know me to the point that me and you may fall in love, start a family, buy a house on a big piece of land with a half mile long dirt driveway with an iron gate at the front of it for our privacy. I'll tell you right now in front of God and everybody, I'll keep that front yard looking like a putting green as long as you don't make me eat TV dinners for supper six nights a week. I, off the back porch, I'll dig you a big old swimming pool with an outdoor kitchen where every time you want to and every holiday, all of our friends and family can come over and we can entertain them because from the day that me and you get together, I no longer look at us as two different families. We are together as one. I will treat your family like mine and then hopefully they will treat me like theirs. 
we'll have two kids or three kids and we can have a damn Brady Bunch. I don't care. I love kids and I want to be there for every ball game. I will never miss a ball game because I'm going to be the coach. I will tell you this, I will coach them hard. They're not going to go out there and go through the motions just looking for a participation trophy. That's not how I want to raise my kids. If you do, you need to get to stepping. If they commit to a team, they will not quit halfway through. And if they want to play, they're going to have to earn it. I'm not going to give it to them just because daddy is the coach. I also want them to fear me at the same time because I want the most scary thing in their whole vocabulary to be whenever you tell them that when your daddy gets home, he's going to take off his belt. I want them to start trembling. I'll deal with the consequences of that. I'll dig us a big pond off our back 40 back there where we can go out there and fish as a family and we can be there for when our kids learn how to fish because it is one of the greatest pastimes in this whole nation. On the other side of the back 40, right by the tree line, I will put you a deer feeder right there where me and you can sit in line at our kitchen table every morning and watch the deer come out and eat the corn while we drink coffee and hold hands. If at any point during this whole relationship you decide that you don't feel like the most important thing in my life or if I'm being disrespectful to you, you have my full permission to come kick me directly in the nuts where I can spend the rest of my days on this earth making up for that one minute that you didn't feel like the most important thing in this entire world to me. Because I can tell you right now, you will be. I will not hurt you. I will not cheat on you. And I'll never lie to you. You might not always like what I have to say. And I'm going to piss you off. I'm going to leave spit bottles laying around the house. But that's okay because you're going to piss me off every time you want to bring home a stray animal. And I promise to you right now in front of God and everybody, if you want to, I'll even buy you a baby cow. So what do you say? If their answer to that right there is anything but yes, she ain't the one, Kane. Keep on looking. She hurt my father, disrespect my mother at all in my life. No matter what she put, my mom told me said, told me to tell my father I was going to get him deported if he come to this house. <laughs> he brought me numerous shit. Throw, throw it that on the floor. That is real shit. I was raised by an aunt. She was abusive. My mom, she was on drugs. She gave me away. Like These are two black women in my life mm -hmm. that caused arguably the most damage to me as a man. I my said, mother told me she ain't like me because I look like I appreciate mothers and they do work hard. And I know lately it's been easy to just blame the, the father for not being there. But we got to take some accountability at the yeah, end of the day. She Thanks. said she found God. So she gave Russell Wilson the impression. She waited a year to sleep with him. And she gave him the impression that she was a changed woman. Yeah. Now, after she gets the kids and the resources, she's twerking on Instagram. I think that's disrespectful as a wife. There are things you can do when you are single that I don't think you should do if mm, you are married. Free. Is based off of the effort you were trying to put in in the beginning. So if you gave a false intentions of your what you planned on giving me, then yeah, I I made my expectations off of that. But hands down, I got standards already. It ain't my fault you fell in love with my life. <laughs> your life. It ain't my fault. Now it ain't my fault. You didn't tell me this is gonna be. Crazy. <laughs> no, you gotta realize, right? Say, say a man is courting you, or any woman, right? If he likes to go eat at, at Papa Do's, that's what he like to do without you anyway. It ain't, it ain't something. He ain't, ain't no man bring you somewhere he never ate unless it's like a steak place or something like that. So if it's a, if it's a regular date and he trying to impress you, he trying to impress you, he bringing you somewhere that he usually eat at. He like to eat at. He nice. ate at before. So if he bringing your ass to Papa Do's, he eat there frequently. So you fell in love with his life. I just keep cash in for a minute. I'm finna fuck the game up. Roll with me on this. Ladies, I got a question. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Stop. Stop. Stop doing whatever you need to do. You need to look at me. I got a question. This is this is a serious one. What does your man ask you to do on a day-to-day -day basis? Cook? No, you was gonna cook anywhere you a wife. I'll wait. <laughs> 